All right, day two of gauges, and Elliot had to come over and use his muscles to get my O2 off, because I couldn't do it. But that's where we're at right now. Pulling the O2 off, and then putting the wideband in. I'm trying to figure out where to mount that, because it doesn't fit my gauge pod that I mounted, which is awesome. So stay tuned. Recording right now. I'm recording you right now. Okay. Well. So what are you doing, baby? I'm looking for some self tappers because there's a there's a ground in there right now, mm -hmm. and it's a good ground, but it's so good that I snapped a screwdriver in it, which is pretty amazing. Pretty amazing. So I'm looking for a self tapper. Can't find one. Awesome. It's just. Let's see what we got. Here we go. Let's just see. Let's just see what's going on here. This is the screwdriver. <laughs> You're so cool. Yeah. Did <laughs> <laughs> you record that? Yeah. Um, fuck. All right. We probably should do it over here. What? Record? Why don't you... Oh, no. Oh, this is a long fucking... Oh, let me try to go. I don't know if I can get the... Dude, this sucks. Just put it in. I don't understand what you're worried about. Uh, I can't like get it in there. I thought you just screwed it in. What's it say? Drill ties, never measure. Gang shit. Cool. Now I gotta find a way to mount that down, clean up all the rest of those wires, tuck it all in. Double sided tape? That's what's on it. Oh. But it's not enough double sided tape, so I need to get more. Because it'll. It'll. It won't stick now that I pull it up, but. What you doing? What are you doing? Uh, I'm trying to cut these wires right now without messing them up. And, 
Shiga. Shiga again. I was in a porno with Shania screaming. Oh. How much wire do I have? On which one? The pretend like you're gonna put the oil oil one down there. I already put it in. The oil one? Oh no. two. Uh I don't know where you need to go, but they're in the water room. Oh, that's the oil? Well, I just need it to go here. So, you can pull on it. Uh huh. Damn, I should have went with pillar gauges. Huh? I should have went with pillar gauges. Just, you gotta run that through that end and I'll catch it just like I'll catch the other end Ugh. or should I go through my firewall it don't matter those are protected wires yeah. this is way easier I'll just fucking dump it right through here hmm. right here hey. I can see straight through. Yeah. It's just gonna be hard for me to catch that bitch. Okay, alright. It's kinda I saw that go through. Oh I see it. I I got it. I got one of them. Is that gonna pinch? No. So I'm gonna go Are you sure? Right through here. That's definitely gonna pinch. Pinch what? The seals. The seals line up. Yeah, it can pinch the seal in it. That'll fucking still seal. Or will it not? Or can I just go right underneath the seal? Right here. Right here, look. Boom. Underneath the seal. Like a fucking G. Go in there. I'll go right in there. I'll pull that up. Alright, just give me another one. The real challenge... Hopefully I have enough wire. Oh, I just saw it. Just pull it back up. Ow, ow. <laughs> Trying not to lose my fucking hand again, Elliot. You know I didn't grab it. Can't see it. Loud, obnoxious block valve hinge. Yeah, it was super loud. Like, you'd be cruising at like 30, shift, and be like, <laughs> like, what the fuck, dude? Okay. That bitch. Tell that bitch I said hi. Are you recording? Yeah. Alright, so, this is my little gauge mount. It's pretty cute. Just like, yeah. You know, okay, sorry. Keep going. Gorilla glue at the bottom. <laughs> And then these holes aren't big enough for my like connectors to go through, so I go them out like this. Oh God. Just like that to make them wider. So they can fit connectors. Like Yeah, that's pretty pretty Alright. Okay. <laughs> Alright, you wanna come? So which one did you get hooked up? What's up? Which one did you get hooked up? Uh so just the the wide band right now. The okay. fuel ratio gauge. So pretty simple. Probably should tell you guys like how you do it real quick. So. <laughs> yeah. Um this one it's electronic, so it just requires a 12 volt power and a ground. 
So I did one ground right here that was already on the car on this bolt. And then one 12 volt power, which is the ignition on the Evo. It's the top left fuse to 10, uh, to 10 fuse. Um, put it in there and it works with the ignition. Uh, I'm gonna take that out eventually and then end up doing like an actual like fuse and wire them all together. But I'm waiting on that stuff from Amazon. So it's pretty much it though. And you just take uh, this one wired to power and this one wires to the wide band. Super simple, which we showed you earlier where the wide band was. And it's coming from the timing cover, like the little plastic piece. Yeah. It sounded like it was coming from that, but I tapped on it and Oh, well, I don't know. I've had that off and the timing belt and everything looked fine. Oh, well, I don't know that. Does it only do it when it's cold? I think so. I don't know, I haven't really like researched that much, but it feels like it's running fine. Because if I had a, I had like a lifter or something like that, it would speed up. It wouldn't clear up like that yeah. out of nowhere. Unless my MyVac is like fucked. I have no idea how the system works. It's like VTEC. But then my shit would be like breaking up on top end and it wasn't breaking up when I was gapping max. <laughs> I just... There we go. Alright, so I got the fuse. I got a 12 volt that only comes on with the ignition and I need to find a constant which I'm going to use the the 10 uh, fuse right there and then I'll wire those in so that these gauges have memory right up here should look pretty sick all right here's the update so let me show you guys I have the fuses in right and then they're ran down so I just need to connect the wires that go up and over to the gauges to the 12 volt power and then I will run f uh, a constant to the other gauges so they can have memory and that one's gonna be on this that's my constant pretty simple stuff okay final product on the gauges everything's tucked behind got them nice and secure and wired up beautifully everything's all buttoned back up and clean let me know what you guys think of how i did it okay so i just got the evo all jacked up and i just kind of like see something that i'm just kind of like fuck it so i'm doing it i'm cutting the grill out i don't care i'm doing it part about it is I don't think a lot of this is even connected anyways uh, all right so before and after before oh, God. Oh my God. <laughs> I, I smacked him yeah I <laughs> He might have a hive or something. Dude, I fucking. I don't know where he went. Uh oh. No, I don't know. Anyways. Oh, is that. I see him over here. Poor dude. I'm sorry, buddy. Oh, <laughs> I actually really like bees, but they like have a 